Hello, my friend. Today, we got a super exciting tutorial for you. We're going to create the viral bow that's been all over social media. This one was for a celebrity event, so make sure you stay until the end to find out who it was for. Let's dive right in. I like to keep things straightforward when it comes to my balloons. For this project, we use nine inch balloons inflated to about seven or eight inches. And no, I don't size the balloons and you don't have to either. We just eyeball it. Plus, I personally enjoy the look of organic a lot better. Remember, the size of your balloons can vary depending on the space you are decorating. If you have a large space, go a bit bigger with the balloons. For smaller spaces, scale down accordingly and you can even use 5 inches instead of the 9 inches. Before we go further, I've noticed that only a small percentage of viewers are subscribed. So if you find this video helpful, why not hit that subscribe button now? It's free and you can always change your mind later. Now let's talk about how we are going to create this bow. It's simpler than it looks. We use what we call a duplex, which is just two balloons at a time. You place one duplex over another to create a cross and repeat this 35 times for each side of the bow. The 35 duplex will make the bow about eight feet uh, from bottom to top. The final product will be bigger, it is about 10 feet. We end up adding more duplex until we accomplish the size that we wanted. When it comes to tying the balloons, I always go for 40 pound fishing line because it's strength and you could also use the 260 balloons but I find fishing line works best for me. Also I've made a video on different tying methods, especially for balloon garlands. Um, be sure to check that one out if you want to learn or if you want to explore different options. For this particular project we used plain pink you can use any color you want as long as you don't see those um, drips on the balloons I dislike those a lot but if you're new to the balloon world and not sure about which brands to use or where to get your supplies don't worry check out this video here where we've compiled a great list of suppliers just for you I still have to install this bow on site, so at this point I'm simply making sure that what I had envisioned for this project was going to work. And it's looking pretty good. I just need to make sure that the loops of the bow had good shape and that they measure about the same, like the same size. Uh, and now we are just going to do the exact same thing for the other side. Remember 35 duplex, one over the other to create like creating a cross and just repeating that process. And here's a little piece of advice. Don't be afraid to take on new challenges. That's what I did with this and many other projects. I saw a few designs on Pinterest and I came up with a plan and then the result was fantastic. Always say yes and figure things out along the way. That's how you learn and that's how you grow. A side note, my purpose on this channel is to provide you tools, tips, and resources to help you start or scale your balloon business. I've put together a quiz to help you figure it out what your next big step could be in growing your balloon business. Um, you'll find the link to this quiz in the description below, so make sure to give it a try. Okay, so what I did is I counted 25 pairs from here to there and then I tied it to the number 25. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and so on. And then when I got to balloon number 25, I tied it and I did the same thing. So, so you can start counting from here to here if you prefer, just to make sure that it, the loops are the same size. But I did it the opposite, so I counted from 25 balloons from the very, from the very first balloon, 25 all the way there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie these two sides neck to neck and I'm going to make sure that this looks even. And I'm going to also tie neck to neck this part to this part here. So it looks more like a regular bow where the, the strings that go down go more to the right first before they go down so they don't go down straight from the middle because of the knot that, that's in the middle. So I'm going to try to replicate that look by tying this part to this to the beginning of the, the, the hoop over here. So I'm going to tie this to this. 
This beautiful balloon bow was actually part of an installation for Justin Bieber's little sister, Bay Bieber. It's been our third year doing it and each year gets better and better. Okay, so I just put it up on the wall to see how it was looking and where it needs to be fixed. But the opening that I wanted, like this part over here, it looks pretty good. I absolutely love how it looks. So it doesn't look straight right in the middle. So that's what I wanted to do. So this one uh, looks a little more, like more open. This one looks more round. I actually like the look of this one because it looks a little more organic. That one, you can see the pattern of where the balloons were placed. So I like this style better. I'm gonna try to, um, to move balloons now to see if I can make it a little bit more organic. And by moving the balloons around, I just mean to kind of uh, move the, this balloons out of order. So I think it looks pretty good there. So this will need to be styled again once I'm on site because I just have it on my wall right now. But as you can see, like, as you can imagine, it will need to be styled every, regardless of where I put it in, it's gonna be on top of a ball pit and the slide that goes to the ball pit, like it's gonna be somewhere around there. So I'm sure that I'm going to um, have to move it around a lot more when I'm on site, which is perfectly fine. And I'm debating if I wanna put five inch balloons. Uh, I kinda wanna put five inch balloons here to uh, define that center a little more. Let me know what you think. But um, I'm liking it. I'm liking the idea. You know how the bow has the middle, and the middle has like a, you know how bow goes. <laughs> that middle part is what I'm trying to kind of um, accentuate here, somewhere here. So I don't know if I'm gonna do five inch balloons. My husband is against it. I don't know. I'll let you know. Uh, but I like this part. So this effect right here, the effect with this is just by tying the part that was going straight down tying it to this part here and I might just tie this a little more here um, so I have more control of the hoops so they don't move so much and and then I'm debating in the, in the five inches but then the rest of the video will be the actual installation and you can see what we do with it I added one and I kind of like how it looks so I'm gonna add another Can kind of tell the difference i mean it looks a little more detailed yes no i think i like it better like this though. i like it i like it better this is the cutest little beaver bay if you didn't know her Unfortunately, we weren't able to record the installation process. It was raining and it got a little crazy, but here you can see the full project. It was epic. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you replicate this balloon bow, I will love to see your creation. Send me a picture on Instagram and let's connect. You can find us on any social media platform as We Balloons. Don't forget to take the one minute quiz to boost your balloon business. And now for a little glimpse of Justin and Haley with our balloon creations. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share it, and subscribe for more balloon business advice. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.